I think what makes Gratz so special, it's a historic school that has maintained its DNA. We retain our roots as a teacher's college with a focus on educating educators. We retain our roots as a place that puts students at the center. We put our own students at the center and we teach teachers to put students at the center in their own professions, in their own classrooms. Our educators come seeking best practices, seeking to make connections with other educators. Our researchers come and they're able to engage with some of the leading scholars in the world in this particular area. We offer certificates, we offer master's degree programs, doctoral programs, both an EDD and a PhD. Our primary programs focus on education, Holocaust and genocide studies, and also in Jewish studies and Jewish education, as well as our community education components, which include adult Jewish learning. We really truly believe that this is a place that's open for everybody. We may have a, a focus and a grounding in our Jewish texts and our Jewish tradition, but Jewish tradition has something for everybody and we would love to be a place where everybody feels welcome. We have uh, courses, in-person programs like Lunch and Learns. We bring book talks, authors, speakers. The grass provides us with really unique connections. The courses are remarkable in their quality, but also in their variety. We just came off of a wonderful Lunch and Learn. It feels like home. It's very comfortable, very pleasant all the time to and be here. new friends too. We decided to, to fund the adult learning program in honor of my parents because it is a way to perpetuate their memory, to keep their love of learning alive. Adult learning for its own sake. We say in Hebrew it's, it's Torah Lishma, just learning because you love learning. Shalom, I'm Clarence Stucker, Gratz class of 1965. Gratz has been a part of my life for close to 60 years. It's just a marvelous institution for Jewish education at any level. We are firmly rooted in the past, in the history of the Jewish community, in the history of understanding the Holocaust as it came to be. But we are not so rooted that we are not looking forward. I have loved coming into the organization and watched as we together try to build an online community that allow that message of never again and never again for anyone to be shared with populations that are experiencing their own holocausts, their own disasters. Gratz's Holocaust Oral History Archive is the second oldest institution of its kind in the United States. And in the last couple of years, we have worked to digitize over 900 testimonies, the audio recording as well as edited summaries. We've had some exciting moments. One day, we had a liberator, a man was here, being interviewed. And at the same time, in another room, a woman survivor from the camps was being interviewed. She came in this room, and she was introduced to this man. And she looked at him, and she said, I remember you. You were in the tank, the first tank that came in when they opened the gates. One of the most touching moments was getting onto a Zoom and learning from Alicia Wiesel that he and his mother, Marion, had selected Gratz as a partner to digitize, to curate, to empower the world with Ellie Wiesel's archive. As we start to build out this material, the value proposition for Gratz College isn't just to enliven our coursework with these digital assets, but it's what our students, what they do with that material, the creativity that they will bring, it's yet to be seen. Everything that we teach is about application. It's about using your knowledge in the real world. When you invest in Gratz, you're investing in every student who will take that knowledge and apply it in a way that will, whatever their sphere of influence is, wherever they are a leader, whether it's a middle school classroom, whether it's a college classroom, whether it's a museum or uh, civic leadership or just being a good person in the world, that knowledge will be translated. And so the multiplier effect of investing in one person at Gratz is almost hard to calculate. Just from one individual can reach thousands and we have 150 at any given moment. So we're reaching I hope tens if not hundreds of thousands of individuals. The Holocaust is a heavy topic. It's, it's a hard topic, but I think it's essential for the kids to learn it, not just because of what happened, 
but because they're gonna be citizens, adults. And so we talk about how something of this magnitude was able to happen, the steps that were followed that led to genocide, and so that one day they can decide what's morally right and what's morally wrong. Hate is, is something that needs to be directly faced and directly stopped. And whether it's against the Israelis or whether it's any other group in society being singled out for who they are or what they believe, that has to be stopped. And the way that is stopped is through centers of learning and knowledge like Gratz College. At the end of the day, we're providing what I consider to be one of the best, if not the best, Holocaust and Genocide Studies graduate programs in the world. But the reason that we're so committed to the success of the program is because we understand the power of our students and of this program's impact. For almost 130 years, Gratz has been many things at different times. We're excited for where we've been. We're excited for where we're going with new PhD doctoral programs, with micro-credentialing for professionals, Jewish professionals, and in other spaces. Gratz remains true at its core to Jewish wisdom and education.